Hey, hello everyone and welcome in a new series of video, a new playlist dedicated to Docker. And in this video, I'd like to introduce you what is Docker, who I am. I'm a French YouTuber named Xavki and a set reliability engineer. I like and I practice DevOps. And of course, I like to share my experience. If you want to can subscribe to my to my channel to not miss the next video. If you like the video, you can like it, of course, and comment it if you want. So to start to for, for beginning, um, where come from Docker? Docker uh, has been released in uh, uh, 2013 and the origin the origin of uh, docker is an internal project of uh, the dot cloud company created by salomon ice purposes of docker uh, simplify deployment uh, we'll see it in uh, in the next videos um, and docker change uh, the packaging of deliverables this is a very very uh, important uh, element to to understand before we use um, for example targz or many other format to uh, deliverable uh, for example an, an, an application and uh, with docker the this format change and uh, help many uh, many person uh, for example, developer to uh, to to send uh, their application to deploy uh, it on uh, production, for example, and uh, Docker uh, help you to manage uh, dependencies easily. This is very important. Easily, um, we can uh, we need we need and we can. Uh, uh, um, learn two concepts to to understand uh, docker uh, the first one is the container uh, container is a, a simple object and uh, we just need to understand a container is just a process is running this is just a process on your operating system uh, and this process is running Another concept is uh, the images, image. Uh, an image is our new package to store uh, the code and uh, the environment around this process. And uh, this process is our container. So uh, what is Docker? What use Docker on your uh, operating system? Docker uh, is based on uh, the evolution of uh, your Linux kernel, uh, two evolutions, C groups and namespaces. This is very important. And C groups and namespaces um, allow you to, um, to create a process isolation. Um, when we talk about process isolation, that means uh, memory, CPU, and the owner of uh, this process and many elements about security um, that uh, that allow you to create a new layer of uh, virtualization uh, like a virtual machine but this is not a virtual machine this is a container and um, this container uh, like docker uh, is named a container runtime interface CRI and Docker uh, is a high level CRI uh, because Docker use other uh, CRI. For example, in this uh, uh, chain we can uh, see we have a Docker CLI and Docker CLI use Docker Engine and Docker Engine use uh, low level uh, CRI for a uh, container D. Uh, the container D uh, is uh, developed by, uh, uh, by uh, Docker company. And RunC. RunC Run is a very low level uh, CRI. If you want uh, more information about Docker, you can go on uh, their website 
on docker.com and if you want you can find some documentation about docker on docker uh, on sorry on docs.docker.com thank you for following this video and i see you in the next video bye